Thank you for being here. Uh, good afternoon. I am very happy to introduce you about thoroughbred breeding history and major developments in Korea. It will take only 15 minutes, and you would know the whole story about Korean thoroughbred breeding. So please pay attention for a while, and I wish you enjoy my presentation. Let's start with breeding history in Korea. I will talk about it in divided two parts. First of all, quantitative growth from 1991 to 2011. It all dated back to 1991. Uh, the document on the left is strategic plan for the growth of the robot breeding industry. It is the origin itself of Korean thoroughbred breeding. In the table on the right, you can see the registered resources in Korean from 1981 to 1990. Before the strategy plan, Korean bread accounted for only 5%. And at that time, KRA imported 300 horses every year to run, to operate one race course. So since 1991, KRA started to promote horse breeding. In the first period, the basis for the breeding industries were, was eight. In 1995, KRA established the Jeju Soda Farm, which you can see the picture on the right. And in 1998, Korean Soda Book was established and, and officially approved. And during this period, as you can see on the right, the number of farms and stallions and broodmares had increased sharply. By the end of 2003, uh, there were more than 75% of Korean bread out of registered Korean resources. In the next period, KRA expanded the breeding industry foundation further. With the, with the establishment of Busan Racecourse and Jiangsu Farm. And National Livestock Improvement Goal has been set in 2008. In 2009, uh, KRA established Training Academy for Jockey. And finally, in 2011, Horse Industry Development Act was enacted, which expanded the role of KRA to manage not only resources, but also all horses, including equestrian and leisure purpose horses. As you see in the chart, the number of farms kept increased, and nowadays there are 221 farms in Korea. In terms of four crop, by the way, it had increased sharply until 2011, and then it reached a plateau of 1,400. Uh, because the number of races is regulated by the government, KRA started to shift to qualitative development since 2012. Let's move on to the qualitative development from 19, 2012 to 2022. In this period, KRA has changed the racing system to be compatible with global standard. No more separated between Korean and foreign, foreign bred in races, with rating system adopted. And also KRA hosted international races. Korea Cup and Korea Sprint were held to develop Korean bread to the level of international group quality. Thanks to these efforts, Korea was promoted to part of the country in 2016. And also KRA established indoor uphill track to train Korean resource more, more stronger. And also tried to search for stallion candidates with the Canis program. More details about Canis program will be discussed later. KRA carried out many tasks to make Korean bread more competitive. Especially KRA, KRA tried to achieve a balanced development with this triangle. In breeding area, KRA imported better stallions and encouraged breeders and owners with incentive, and also provide a mating consultation to have a better form. 
In training area, KRA implemented enforced pre-training test and is published in the appeal track to train horses regardless of the weather. And also encouraged horse training with a subsidy. In the racing area, KRA arranged a series of races to select the best racers in Korea and also hosted international races to make Korean bread more stronger. I believe that international ratings are useful for estimating the level of Korean bread. As seen in the table, Korean bread are as competitive as imported horses. Especially since 2021, Korean bread international ratings were higher than 110. Here I want to introduce two best racers in Korea. Round Fighter in 2021 and Winner's Man in 2022 showed the best potential of Korean bread. Thanks to these two best racers, I can tell you that Korean bread are getting faster and getting stronger than before. International G3 Korea Cup is the best indicator to know the racing quality of Korea. Last year, a surprising incident occurred in Korean racing. Because Korea bread, Korean bread, winners man won the Korea Cup for the first time, raising the level of Korean racing. KRA want to, have, want to make this international race more successful with many, many countries' participation. For your information, this year, prize money of Korea Cup is $1.3 million, and that of Korea Sprint is $1.1. So please show a lot of interest in Korea. And from now on, I will talk about KRA's future strategies. Because KRA has a national and public trait, KRA has done so many things so far, and also can do a lot of work. But for today, I will focus on the most interesting and the most impressive ones. KRA is the owner of Nixgo. This article is from Racing Post, and in this article, you can see a word, Kenny's research as an innovative genetic algorithm, and Nixgo as KRA's great flagship resource. Let me, te let me tell you more about this. For someone who don't know where about Nixgo, let me introduce Nixgo at first. KRA bought him with $87,000 when he was yearling in Kill and Steel. And in 2021, he won Pegasus World Cup and Whitney Stakes and Breeders Cup Classic. In this video, he, you can see how fast he is. He made a perfect run in the home stretch and made a clear win. He finally was named as American Horse of the Year in 2021, and last year, he was retired to study at Tailor Farm. As you can see from his name, the success story of Nixgo is also that means the success of Kenny's genetic selection program. I think many would wonder why KRA, as on racing body, bought horses. Since 2006, KRA has imported uh, stallions at two to three million dollars, but as you see, it costed a lot. So since 2015, KRA started stallion candidate operation as a two-track option. To search for stallion candidate from one to two years old with Kenny's program. Kenny's program is Korean version of horse selection program with genetic information. With this program, KRA could select excellent resources earlier with cheaper price. Uh, the table at the bottom shows long-term plan for stallion candidate operation. It consists of three steps. Step one, using Kenny's program, buying one to two years old stallions, in, uh, buy one to two years old horses in USA and make them race to verify their performance. 
And step two, sending a stallion in USA and, and having a project test for some years. And step three, import the stallion and support breeding in Korea. As you see now, the operation is at step two, and we're going to move on to step three soon. If you want to know how KNX program works, you can access it through TaylorMade the Farm website. For your information, uh, this service is updated a few weeks ago and only available for United States broodmares with Nixco. So if you are interested in, just have a look at it. For instance, if you want to know the expected value of four with seeking a star, all you have to do is just search for it and then you would know the breeding values and distant aptitude and ranks and so on. Lastly, I want to talk about KRA's mid to long term goal. KRA wants to have three Korean bred upper than 115 international ratings. And furthermore, hopes that K Korean bred win in foreign graded races in the near future. In Korea, uh, there is a word, Bali Bali, uh, which means hurry up and hurry up. I think Korea is very famous for fast-paced culture and lifestyle, and I expect it would apply to horse racing too. Of course, speed is not everything, but what I want to talk about is that uh, how fast the world is changing and how well KRA is changing too. I wish you have a lot of interest in 30 years of Korean breeding history and the future of Korean horse racing. Thank you very much.